Hello friends! I am glad to welcome you back on your favorite YouTube channel. And today you're watching 3 shop upgrades. So, grab your favorite brew, make yourself at home and let's start the video. So first of all, this is my kind of loft setup. I keep there some stuff that I don't use often enough uh, to keep it down here. Uh, it's mostly the stuff for my work and I don't really have any proper ladder setup uh, to get up the loft. So this is how I have to get up this loft. I don't know if this shit even legal. So for the first build, let's make a ladder. So I have this wood right here. Uh, it's kind of recycled wood and it's very ugly and kind of crappy. But I got this stuff for free and I don't have to spend any extra money on it, which is always nice. Because I'm a bit of a cheapstake, if you didn't know. So I have this climbing ladder here. It's kind of perfect for my application. It's steep enough, but it's not too steep and it's like really easy to climb. And I think I'm just gonna match the angle of this ladder and make my ladder the same steepness. Look. And that's my perfect angle. And so here we have it, our new ladder is in place, uh, it looks and works perfect. It's got like the perfect steepness for this application, uh, it doesn't take too much space and it's very easy to climb up and it doesn't need any handrails because of the angle of it, because uh, you can just like, if you need to, you can grab here and that's how I get up here now. This is so much better than it was before. I have no idea how could I live without the ladder to this loft. It's insane. I actually had a lot of fun making this ladder. So let's move on. So my next, I'm gonna call it a problem, is with this guy. Ugh, heavy stuff. This is a Evolution Cold Cut Saw. This is like one of my favorite metalworking tools. Uh, it cuts metal like butter. After cutting metal for so long with the angle grinder and then getting this stuff and it's like day and night. But my problem with it is the setup that I have to do every time. I need to get it up on a table, then I need to get some risers to match this surface and it just takes a lot of time to set it all up and it just kills the joy of using the tool. So I think the solution for this would be a small cart and it's gonna be on wheels so I can just put it uh, next to my welding table and this cutting surface of the saw will be set at the same height as my table so I can just use my table for uh, what you call it, off-cut table, is it? Sorry, my English is small. I'm just gonna go for it and you'll see what I mean.
And so here is my final piece. It's got nice and slim design. It suits the rest of the things in the workshop, but most importantly, it works. Let me show you. So the height of the saw is matching the height of my welding table. Here you go. It's just perfect. I've used the four mil plate as a top, so that way I can tap into it and drive some bolts uh, directly into the top. Uh, we have some locking casters, obviously. Then we have two little shelves here. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but it's good to have them just in case. And my favorite part is this piece right here. So we have this piece of square tubing here uh, with a nut welded to it with this uh, knob. So I can insert this part right into this pipe, like so. I can position it where I need it to. So let's say I have this piece of pipe right here and I need to cut the multiple pieces of the same length. Then I can just put this guy right here up against it and tie it up. Then I make my cut, put another piece in and it's going to be the same height. Or I can lower this down and set it up as the rest for the material. And so for the last build of this episode of free shop upgrades, uh, I'm gonna make a couple of apple boxes. Uh, I went to the store today and got some super sweet Baltic birch uh, plywood for a very sweet price. I've paid 25 euros for this bunch. Ah, I couldn't be happier. So, let's get it. Just like that, we have two nice apple boxes, super square, super flat, probably mostly as a chair, but I'm sure they're gonna come in handy. So thank you for sticking around for this episode of free shop upgrades. I'm still waiting for the parts to film a proper shop antiques video that's gonna come in soon, hopefully. Let me know what do you think about those builds and what do you think about the format of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, check out the Patreon for the further support of the channel. The camera is about to die and hope...